everybody and welcome back to uh to my minecraft how to make item rebirth or whatever you want to call it so yeah i am back in the good old world here let me just uh <laughs> well raining on one side and snowing on the other <laughs> so yeah let me just uh, turn down the sound a little bit here oh that was bad uh sound 38 we're not gonna Go down to 30. There we go. Okay, yeah, you you, all, you guys all remember my uh, place here? My uh, lighthouse tower, li my lighthouse tower over there is bugging up, but uh, yeah. You guys all remember this? My first how to make items world. Man, it has grown a bit since last got my mega roller coaster or well not a roller coaster but a giant track system up in the sky and man does it ever sound good when you <laughs> yeah when you ride around in the track and I got myself a cow and some more chickens so yeah uh, our very first episode here of uh, oh, yeah you can't tell you can't normal click a button anymore or stone button, you have to right click it. So yeah, as you can see here we already got an anvil. I'm gonna show you how to build that and I'm gonna show you how to build item frames. Item frames are so cool. Where should we put this one? You know what, I've always wanted a... Uh, a wall mounted clock. Yeah. And it works. Let me just see here. You can see it should do some animation. Yeah, saw that little blip up there. It does work. The animation does work on the clock. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to build these two things. But I want to show you this little guy. Also that this here is 1.4.2. As you can see up in the left corner there. Look at this little guy. <laughs> I got myself a pet bat. How you doing? How you doing, Betty? Yeah, you're such a cute little bat. <laughs> I got myself a pet bat. Okay, onward. For the item frames, we're going to need sticks and leather. For the anvil, you're going to need quite a lot of iron. So, yeah. First of all, item frames, sticks around like so, and a piece of leather in the middle. Then you get your item frame. And you can put anything in the item frame that you want. Hmm, let's see. Why not? Ah, yeah. And when you have uh, the item that you want in it, if you say, ah, I don't want it to turn that way, how about mm, right clicking it? Yeah, right clicking the item inside the item frame will turn it another way. So yeah. We can say that uh, we got a coal chest up here and we got a redstone chest down here. So let's say that uh, let's make two item frames of these. Let's take this one away. Oh, uh, wrong one. There we go. Let's see, the right is up, the left is down. Right one is up, and the left is down. And we can point it, so it says down, redstone, and up, yeah, or that way, or that way, or whatever you want to do it. So yeah. The redstone is an arrow pointing down to this chest. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the item frames. You can even turn the clock if you want to. <laughs> now for the this big guy over here. As you can see on the anvil, it looks like it's taken a bit of damage. That's because every time you use it, it does take a bit of damage. 
and uh, when it's used up it will disappear. For the anvil you're going to need three iron blocks. So it's quite an expensive piece of uh, equipment. Taking the three iron blocks in the top, making the stem and the foot. So you don't don't need all uh, another one, but you do need roughly half of a stack. I'm gonna take I'm gonna use this anvil because I'm gonna show you the difference between a used anvil and a non-used anvil. Here we got the non-used anvil. You see it is smooth texture on top. And here we got the used anvil. You see there's a small cracks in it. And uh, the sound when you put it down it's awesome. Let's listen to this. Bang, baby. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put this one up in here so I have an extra one. So yeah, uh, now I'm gonna show you what you can actually do with an animal. I'm gonna show you what I've already done. Diamond Sword of Death. That's right, you can rename any, uh, any item you want. I have renamed a diamond sword of that, and you can see there's this a little blue thing out here. That means that it's already been uh, been uh, renamed, so you can't do anything with it. But here you can see pickaxe, and then if you click up here, the cursor comes, and this is <laughs> and it already cost 12 experience points to uh, name it. We could call this one pickaxe of the ore. Pickaxe of the ore it cost. 12 to rename it so yeah but also uh, if you got an item that has uh, damage on it you can uh, no, I can't repair this one because it hasn't that much damage on it but essentially if you have an item with uh, a lot of damage on it you can put uh, iron ingots or I think in this case because this is a diamond pick I need to put a diamond up here to uh, repair it so yeah Hey, we got a <laughs> we got a creeper in the tr uh, in the trench. How you doing, creepy? What's up, creepo? So yeah. Ah, uh, now you're seeing me. <laughs> creepo in the trench. And Betty the Bat Bat. Hello, Betty. He's such a cute little guy. Let's, uh, let's leave him be. If you get too close to him, he will try to fly away. And I don't want him to fly off because I got a lava pool and uh, some other stuff. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. By the way, rain and snow. When it snows and when it rains, it uh, lowers your view distance. Distance. I can see the painting over there. <laughs> Look. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go up into the Tower of Doom. Whoa, what the hell? What the heck was that? Well, a little bit of a glitchy glitch. Yeah, that's probably some, some wiring screwed up in there I can't see the Colosseum of death but uh, <laughs> I can see the painting over there <laughs> That's pretty cool so yeah first episode of our rebirth of uh, how to make items up and running and for every episode I make, I will show you two new items that can be made. Or if you uh, want uh, me to show you something else, leave it in the comments below. And I will uh, get it in there. I, can, I, I love this little guy. Hey, how you doing? So yeah, I am going to be using these item frames a hell of a lot more. So yeah. 
And if you want me to, uh... Ah, nice. Give you a full tour of my world, I will of course do that. But for now, new world downloads. Also my special mob grinding tower over there. I actually love the sound of uh, when you're walking on snow in the winter, don't you? Let's listen to that. That sand, uh, grass. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah. Uh, let me see here. TD equals trapdoor. Uh, switch up trapdoor, close, switch down, trapdoor open. It's beginning to get night time. Cool. And in behind here, there's a mob spawner, or actually a skeleton spawner, which actually spawns a skeleton with uh, with some water pressure. It gets him all the way up, over, and eww, bam, right down here. But I th uh, I've uh, learned that this is the best door to have because it's closest to the mob spawner. Oh, there we go. I am done. And uh, I don't even need to use the sword. I can uh, I can even use a piece of bread if I want to. Come on, come on. There we go. Two hits with a piece of bread, and he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, I've missed this world. The only world I have ever played on for four months straight. And I can't believe I got it back. <laughs> oh my god. I can even hear the lava now. Hey, where's Patty? I can't hear. Ah, does he disappear after a little while? I think he does. Oh, that's that's sad. Patty's gone. Oh, oh well. So yeah, that's a recap. Shelf, sticks, and leather for the item frames, and iron ingots turned into. Three iron blocks. Sticks all around. With a leather in the middle. For an item frame. Let's see, what else can we use? What else can we use that for? Hmm. Yeah, but now I set the clock over there, but the. Uh, Sand, dirt, and everything else. Nah, that's okay. Uh, ah! Can I put item frames of grass? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually a 3D cactus. <laughs> that'd be cool. So yeah, um... Thank you all so very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, catch on the flip side.